very warm welcome to Mitsubishi Electric, where we're going to be talking about transforming the housing technology mindset. It's an honour to be here, actually, because everything that's been talked about this morning by all the speakers is bang on message, not just for Mitsubishi, but actually for the industry as a whole. The fact is we need to change the way that we heat our buildings in the UK. We consume huge amounts of energy in the UK for heat. The report I read yesterday is our demand for heat in the UK across all sectors accounts for a third of all carbon emissions and half of all energy consumption. It's massive. Mark Farmer published a report and it was damning. It was called Modernise or Die. That means we need to think differently about how we do everything in the industry for it to be transformed. And just quickly, low productivity, structural fragmentation that's been talked about already, low margins, workforce size, lack of R&D, massive lack of R&D and investment, low predictability, leadership fragmentation, dysfunctional delivery model. I mean, it can't get more damning. Great to see so many people in the room. You know, we've done a lot of events over the years and um, see so many, so many familiar faces from um, developers, housing associations, contractors. This wouldn't be even possible to invest in this type of uh, area in the marketplace if it wasn't for those early adopters. So, you know, for myself, I tip your hat to you all because it's um, the people who kind of like uh, set that benchmark, you know, from 11 years ago. Is off-site modern methods of construction, the government likes that term, but is off-site the answer? There's no point in, buy in building 300,000 crap houses. I know, I know it sounds like it's an obvious thing to say, and I'm not saying everybody is doing that. There are some good house builders out there doing some good work. There really are. But what we have to do is embrace technology and research and development and innovation to live in a very different way or think in a different way. And as far as I'm concerned, as radical as it might be, we should be changing the building regs to increase insulation standards so that every single new built house has an air source heat pump as standard and everyone has triple glazing. We've got hundreds of case studies and um, I was looking at this the other day and this made me chuckle because we've got all these lovely things like uh, agriculture, community heating, schools, offices. Then we've got Unique and I thought, oh yeah, well these are in there. Bristol Zoo, the Lima enclosure we did. Uh, we did a press staunch, some of you remember that, Edinburgh Zoo. We heat the rhino pool at Edinburgh Zoo. So we've got some unusual clients. And a couple of things really stood out for me in terms of what we all need to do. Um, Martin's slide, the blank one, which has said influence, um, really stood out because I think we talk about they a lot, them, the system, it's that, it's not fair. And I think every single one of us, I think as George was saying, um, that we've all said today, we can all make a difference based on being disruptors. Um, and it's a famous quote, I don't know who said it, um, George was talking about um, changing globally, changing nationally, changing locally and changing personally. And um, I think it's a Michael Jackson track actually, it's like being, being the change. So you know, be the change that you want to see.